This is a lot of theory and book work, but mixed in with hands-on type of learning. It's all part of a new field called mechatronics. It combines the skills needed to work on machinery. Inmates at the Danville Correctional Center are in the new class. It's the first of its kind across Illinois. WCI 3's Amanda Brennan is with us. Amanda, the program is helping people find jobs down the line. Exactly, Jessica. And many with the Department of Corrections and the Danville Area Community College say gaining that hands-on experience now will open doors to careers later on. The college's president says he knows there's great need in manufacturing, and this new class will give inmates a boost to reach their potential. These students here are going to have an aptitude that is in very high demand in our region. Stephen Nacco is the Danville Area Community College president. DAC hosts many vocational classes at the Correctional Center in town. Now they're adding another one to the list, mechatronics. It's going to be maintenance and automation mechanics or mechanical industry. And basically we're going to teach the students uh, how to work on automation lines, how to work on uh, CNC machinery. Shane Moncrief is teaching the class for inmates like Thomas Stromblad. He says he signed up to help make a difference. And I took this class because I saw the applications in the real world. I uh, thought it'd be neat to learn about some of the stuff we're learning about, such as the windmills, which is uh, maybe a way I could give back to the community when I get out there and make things a little greener for my family, people in my area. The experience they're gaining now will help fill open positions later. Dwayne Owens, the vocational coordinator, says companies reach out looking to hire. It's a need he says will never go away. This is what's going on in today, you know, in our society, the high-end, high-tech, you know, things that honestly I don't I don't know anything about. Without this class, I have no opportunity. Moncrief says it's changing lives. What I am just can't wait to see is to wait to see these guys uh, get through this class. And, um, and to be able to get out into life and to be able to work and to be able to enjoy what they do. And at the end of the 150 sessions, they earn a certificate in mechatronics from DAC, as well as a certificate from an international training institute. DAC's president says they're planning on adding CDL and advanced technology classes in the future as well. All right, Amanda, thank you.